we go. This is a Furminator. This is what we're going to attack with first. All this stuff just hanging around that needs to come out. This is everything I've gotten in like five minutes. I recommend this is a de-shedding tool every, just once every 30 days. I definitely recommend one of these. If you want one, I have one I can sell to you today. Just let me know. These guys. Wow, you guys. So, man. David and I are both working on this baby. She's 15 years old. She probably hasn't been brushed in at least six months is my guess. I could be wrong, but look at the hair we've got here in like 10 minutes. We have both sides been fermenting each side ourselves working together. There's been lots of months not being brushed and we're, ha we're having to groom all this hair in just, you know, hopefully an hour to an hour and a half. We won't be blow drying her. She's 15. She's not going to go through the blow drying itself. We're doing, I can't even get the brush through her hair right now. It was just everywhere, all this de-shedding stuff. So we're doing as much de-shed as we can. Her back hips are in bad shape, so we're working fast trying to get this done quickly because she's not going to stand very well, which is why we're doing this mobily. We're at her house. You got to brush at home. You, we can't do all the work and uh, do it fast for your babies when they're this old. You got to brush at home. So a regular brush, Furminator once a month, Zoom Groom. This is a cheap brush that does a lot of shedding. So if I had the, all these three tools, I should effectively be able to brush this German Shepherd regularly. Okay. Sweet, sweet dog. A lot of pain probably in the hips here. I couldn't do this without the dog up stand and I have David here. So even with two people, the dog up stand, wow, making such a tremendous difference. The dog up stand is a tool. I mean, I can get my hand under here. It's just supporting her legs when she fails a little bit gonna happen when you have an older pet it doesn't mean I get to add two hours to the groom she's still old she's still 15 she's still got hip dysplasia move fast time is of the essence it's not because we want to hurry it's because we want her off the table as fast as possible so with, a, with that in mind of not blow drying her I know I'm not gonna blow dry her look at all this hair you guys whoa if you need the kits we have the brush kits go to our website below this is an intense groom. We're trying to get it done in hopefully two hours or less. Look at all this hair. It's everywhere. And she's being such a great girl. Look at all this hair. There's This is months of buildup. Just absolutely months of buildup. And her nails were really, really long, preventing her to, from being able to put her pads on the ground. So big deal there. We did the nails first so she could even get on the table. So it's a really tough job. Make sure you're brushing your dogs at home. It really will save them time during their grooming process, especially at this age. But since we're not going to blow dry, this coat has got to be amazing before we go to the bath. And then she's going to do air dry after. Thanks for watching, Dee Dee. And with my favorite groomer, be sure to subscribe, share, and buy from us. Because that's the only way that we can be successful in what we do. And by sharing these free educational videos, please go down below. Check out our store. Appreciate ya. So we've been still using the dog up stand, but I am ready to get her off of it. Uh, it's been holding her up the whole time now. It's been a good 30 minutes brushing and de-shedding. Look at all this hair, all the hair on the ground, the depth of the hair. We're at one foot high here. Uh, we've combed. So come through with your comb. You're going to come through with, like, we, we've been brushing over 30 minutes and we still have areas we need to come back to, okay? We're going to come back after letting her sit. So take your comb. And you can come this way with it, ever so lightly, grabbing slowly the mats, okay? Just come that way with it. Um, if you can't go through it yet, you're gonna come sideways with it and pull that hair out. You're gonna use your brush, going forward and backwards to get everything. You're gonna have to, look at that, my comb just disappeared. You're gonna have to draw that line like I showed you guys and brush every single hair on the dog. It's gonna take some time. So we've been doing that, two brushes deep, and the Zoom Groom is super effective. Even after all that brushing, over 30 minutes now, we're still getting dead hair. The Zoom Groom is amazing. It's cheap and it only pulls out the dead hair, so it's cool. And you can go effectively go back and forth, okay? Last thing, I've been using my mat breaker to come through the, the chest here, and the neck was really matted from the collar being on there for the whole time, all the time and maybe getting wet. So use your mat breaker as well. Come back now, all this hair. Check with your comb. 
we still have quite a bit of work to do. We're gonna do a little bit more after. So you wanna come back in there and detangle that. This area, some here. I'm actually gonna, so we're gonna remove the dog up stand at this time and we're gonna shave the tummy so we don't have to have to worry about that, okay? Has some really, really bad mats, so I took a tin and the went ahead and just took that out and I'm gonna fade it, the neckline with the two guard. See, I can't even hardly get, well, it's doing better than it was, but it was, I had to get that so it's not too a blunt. Just kind of fade all that so when it's growing back. Because this is all stretchy skin line here. And it's going straight into the teeth, so it's very dangerous. Be careful. I'm telling myself, like, look at you need to be careful. Because we can brush for another hour, but the skin is definitely going to be affected. I don't want to keep doing that. Just get those mats out of there. She actually got pretty tired, so we took her off the dog up stand. The dog up stand is great, but again, not for hours, okay? Get what you need to do with the dog up stand and then remove it so that you can give her a more comfortable grooming afterwards without standing or having to be held up for standing. So now she's she's been great, really letting us get in there. We got all this hair out, second session of brush out. We haven't even hit the bath yet. And she is really letting us get in here. And we've missed, not missed, but we have so much work to do with her coat that we came back a whole second time to redo it. Okay, so we're, little by little, we're making sure we've got, from the skin out, we've got no tangles. You know, you wanna be able to go through that whole coat. It doesn't matter what breed and what hair style type. You wanna make sure you can get that comb from the skin out before you bathe. Otherwise, that's gonna just get thicker. If I don't, if I don't get it out of there now, it's just gonna get deeper and more matted under there. You wanna do little by little, and you wanna watch her. She's got big bumps here because of her age. You wanna watch her. Any little trigger, I could like snap and she could, uh, I could pinch her and she could whip back and bite my face. So just because she seems to be doing good, always have your guard up, you just never know. I've never met her before. This is our first groom together. Quite honestly, you might have even, they might have even gone to a groomer that just bathed the dog, never even brushed thoroughly. So you want to get your comb all, oh, look how much we were getting good through this. We were not getting through the coat earlier. Look at that. That's awesome. And still some more is coming out. So to really do a thorough job, which is why we are pretty expensive, but there's a reason. We're not just bathing the dog for you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? So one bath and she's going to smell great. Uh, we're going to use our pet silk shampoo and... Gonna, it's going to be soft and clean. And thank you. All right, we're finishing up. We're checking everything over. She's done with her bath now. She's not going to be blow dry today. She's too old for that. When the, a pet client starts getting too old, you got to skip the blow dryer. That's my opinion. It causes less stress if they're just not blow drying. So skip the blow dryer. We're going to touch up a few things, but this is going to be our end product. She did great really sweet girl we did shave down in here a little bit and then followed up with the two guard it'll grow out just fine but it was pretty matted in there uh, not worth not worth stretching the brushing to an hour and a half so this is where we're at she's gonna be she looks like a different dog thanks for watching Dee with my favorite groomer